Okay, so right now I'm at the fabric store. This is actually a fabric store that Michael Costello shop at. And if you are like really into social media and keep up with like the celebrity gossip, like he got into it with one of the females here who is a local designer in LA. So I'm here now trying to find some fabric and I'm gonna have to move my car because I was parked on the sidewalk for the one hour parking and I got a ticket like <laughs> before in the past and I don't want to get another ticket so um yeah I'm about to go move my car and then I'll be back here so I'm about to walk up to the owner so you guys can see him in case you want to come to this store Say hi to my camera. Thank you. <laughs> Let everybody know the name of the store so they can come here. Uh, Chanel City. Yes. So this is where I get my fabric from. to my car so I can go move it and dropping off these bags in the car and I saw like a lot of fabric that I wanted most time when I come downtown for fabric I never really set a budget for myself and then I realized like I end up spending like all the money <laughs> that I came with so now I have a budget my budget is like about 150 so I spent like let's see less than $50 so far so a hundred more to go oh she did oh okay okay all right you guys so I decided to take a break I got all these bags and they are extremely heavy like my hands are like literally tied so yeah I parked pretty far so I parked far so I could save money on parking because I felt like I could have used the money for uh, the fabric so yeah so now I'm taking a break and then I'm about to walk back over there because I have school I am at school, finally made it, made it on time, with time to spare. It is still hot. So yeah, when I was moving my car, there was this guy trying to talk to me. I'm like, have a nice day, like I have a boyfriend, and he just would not go. He was like, yeah, I'm sure you do have a boyfriend, but let me get your number, and let me take you out to eat tonight. And I'm just like, for one, it's already hot. My edges are sweating. Whose daddy is this? I'm just like, bye, Felicia. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so I bought a lot of fabric. Um, I spent at least about a hundred dollars. My budget was 150, so you could say in a sense I saved money. So this is one of my favorite fabrics that I got from the bunch. Um, this is like the applique that I used on one of my gowns. They had a black one, so I decided to get that. And this is the applique you guys have seen on like my social media, which I'll be posting a photo in case you forgot. So yeah, I'm really excited about making these gowns, especially for my plus size model, because a lot of people be asking me, like, do you make, do you make uh, plus size clothing? I'm like, yeah, I do, but I guess, you know, they need to see it. So um, even though I do have a few plus size items on my website, 
there's not any plus size girls wearing any gowns so yeah I need to work on that and um, other than that I'm about to go in class now you guys I'm gonna keep y'all posted and I'm actually about to hit up a screening after this exciting Bye. hey guys so today is the day that I shoot my plus size model um, I'm probably gonna be doing a part two because there's more garments that I want to shoot her in she is a professional plus size model so I'm I worked with her before but I'm looking forward to working with her again today um, so one of the dresses that I made it's just a plain gown here and I'm going to do a video to add to my website on how to style a plain gown to make it more glamoured up. So one of the accessories I have is this necklace here and I have a, a lot of other accessories. Another dress she'll be wearing is this right here. I shot this before with my um, plus size, I mean my petite model. But this stretches and I'm pretty sure she could fit this dress so I'm going to have her wear this. Then I have a lot of other stuff for her to wear. Also my makeup artist had to go to Vegas so I'll be doing the makeup, the hair, the styling and shooting her. So I haven't did that in a while. Usually I have like at least one person helping me now but everybody is out doing something today so yeah i'll be doing everything and i'll be getting a little bit of behind the scenes of that so yeah <laughs> okay so we are currently doing the makeup here working on the eyebrows i am not a makeup artist but i'm trying <laughs> but so far the look is coming together you want to let everybody know who you are hello everybody my name is shania arias you can follow me at iamshinaarias.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like my favorite plus size model to work with. <laughs> so yeah, I'm about to finish these eyebrows. Got all this makeup here. And then we're going to do the hair and then start shooting. Alright, so I just finished majority of her makeup. Probably add in like some bronzer around the forehead area and the cheek area but I did her eyebrows the struggle was real for me because I don't know how to do eyebrows that good <laughs> and then wing the liner I'm going to add in some lipstick and um, do the hair and then try on the clothes and then we about to get to shooting hi all my plus size ladies yes <laughs> yes <laughs> alright so she's in her second garment and of course, she's wearing a lacy collection. This is one of my simple gowns with a little train at the end. And then she got some cute accessories going on. Necklace. So we just finished the shoot. Everything came out great. Can't wait to show you guys the pictures. So make sure y'all stay tuned so you can see the pictures at the end of this video.